Have you ever dreamed of creating your own game, making money from it and living the life you want? So this video will be interesting for you, because this is a guide that will give you a full understanding of everything you need to know to start making games. Do you need to know programming or today you can create games without writing code? Which engines exist, how much do they cost and which one should you choose? How do you make a game from absolute zero? We will go step by step through all the stages of modern game development. Where do you get art? music, where to publish your games. And as a bonus, I'll give you a trick that 90% of beginner developers do not know so their games never get finished and never make a single cent. My name is Alina Andrishuk. I went from being a game developer to a game designer. If you still think that you need a genius idea, your own team or programming skills to start creating games, congratulations, today I'll tell you whether that's really true. Grab a cup of tea and let's go! Intro! So what are the stages of creating your game? Firstly, you need an idea. What kind of game will it be? Then you write a concept, the settings, mechanics, character basically. You create a game design document that's your guiding star. Build a prototype to see if it's fun to play. If not, then go to step one and try to adjust the idea or take the different one. If it works, expand the mechanic, logic, systems, test it on your friends, get feedback. If something's wrong, go to the previous steps. But if gameplay is really cool, then go to art and sounds. Test it again, polish mechanics, fix bugs, publish your game on platforms and watch the feedback. Do you need programming to make games? In general, yes, but there are exceptions. If you want to make games of specific genre like 2D RPGs, then you might not need it. Still, for other cases, you'll need at least some programming. But programming isn't just about writing code. There are tools for visual scripting. You connect logic blocks instead of writing code. This is way easier for most beginners and helps you learn faster. So programming is not about code. It's about how you think, how your brain structures logic. Without this mindset, you'll be stuck with the templates and won't be able to create something truly your own. So what should you make games on? Technically, you could use pure programming languages like JavaScript, C Sharp, C++, Python, but I don't recommend it, because you'll spend forever coding absolute basics. Instead, use game engines. These are tools that already have physics, camera system, character movement, all built in. They'll save you months of work. And our first step is which engine should you choose? Try several before you decide. Here are the most popular ones with big communities and the tons of tutorials. Unity, the gold standard for 2D and 3D games, has visual scripting but also needs the C-sharp. Free until your studio makes $200,000 per year and costs $2,200 per developer annually. Unreal Engine, king of AAA 3D but also works good for 2D too, free until you make $1 million and then 5% royalty. Amazing visual scripting system called Blueprints. I really like it. Or you can code in C++. Godot, fully free and open source. Supports 2D and 3D, uses its own scripting language called GD Script. It's similar to Python. Powerful, but not as polished as Unity or Unreal. Game Maker, super beginner friendly for 2D. Has drag and drop logic and its own scripting language, GML. Cost 100 for a license, extra for console experts. RPG Maker, designed for 2D RPG games. Great if you like story-driven games. Mostly no coding, but supports JavaScript if you need to expand it. $80 one-time purchase. Renpy, perfect for visual novels, interactive stories or anime-style games, based on Python and completely free. If you feel scary about learning programming, try firstly to learn on Scratch. It's really simple and when you will be more confident, then move to previous engines. Once you open an engine, you'll see a ton of confusing stuff. 
So how do you actually learn to make games? Start with tutorials on YouTube or take a beginner course. You need to learn the basics. But be careful. Watching tutorial after tutorial may give you an illusion of progress, but still you won't be learning something new. Do a couple, then immediately start making something of your own. That's when really learning begins, through experiments, mistakes and practice. And if you get stuck, Google it or check the documentation. That's the manual where every engine explains what each feature does. And where do you get art and music? Here is the beginner's mistakes I promised to reveal. Starting with art and music before finishing your core mechanics. That's a bottomless pit you'll keep redoing assets, never satisfied, and your game might never get released. Instead, start with placeholders and ready-made assets. For example, free or paid assets on each I.O. or open game art. Make pixel graphics that simpler with Asset Pride, $20 one-time purchase or Pyscale that's fully free but has less functionality. For music, free sound library or you can create, of course, your own using FL Studio, LMMS or Beatbox. And always check license if you're using ready assets for commercial projects. When your game is ready, where do you publish it? If that's mobile game, use Google Play and App Store. Computer game, then Steam, Epic Game Store or Itch.io. If it's browser game, then Crazy Games or also Itch.io. Basically, you are not limited anymore. Most of these engines can export your game to any platform you want. Now for the fun part, what games are popular right now? Firstly, you need to know that there are different kind of games. AAA games like Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, God of War, FIFA, GTA, Sims 4. But we do not look at them. They cost a lot of money, a lot of people work on them, out of reach for beginners. Mid-sized games like Stardew Valley or Hollow Knight made by smaller but still skilled teams. Also too complex if you are just starting. So let's focus on something simpler, like mobile games, much more achievable. You can create something like Candy Crush or Simple Runner, but remember, mechanics alone don't make a hit. Marketing, design and luck play the huge roles too. So what you should make first? Please don't jump through massive, difficult project of your dream. It'll burn you out and you'll quit. Start small, make many projects, character movement, a basic UI, a simple puzzle mechanic. Each small win gives you confidence and motivation. Step by step you'll climb the ladder. Even if you have no ideas yet, keep learning, analyzing games you love and trying to recreate them. Inspiration will come. How do you make games without burning out? Track your progress, use Notion or even a notebook. Game dev is marathon, not a sprint. You'll need motivation over time. Keep your projects, even failed ones. They'll show you how far you've come. Set deadlines, otherwise chances are your game will never be finished. Remember, your first games may not be a masterpiece but they are crucial. They give you skills, experience and confidence. Every small project makes you better. And in the end, it doesn't matter what tool you use. What matters is whether your game is fun to play. That was a basic guide. If we went deep into every detail, this video would last forever. The good news? Each topic here would be covered in the future videos. So stick around if you are as passionate about game dev as I am. Subscribe so you don't miss it, because this is just the tip of the iceberg.